We have since analyzed the activity in Wall Street to, in, in Wall Street bets to determine whether bots, foreign agents, or other bad actors played a significant role. They have not. So the again, the reason as to why I'm recording this video is primarily because I came in contact with this article on CNBC where the CEO of Reddit was basically defending the platform's role in the GameStop surge, which is normal because like whenever you'd have anything happen on a certain platform, like Congress, which is where the CEO actually spoke, they'll basically invite the CEO of the platform to give like a, a speech with regards to exactly what happened, what preventative measures the platform had with regards to everything, etc. And one of the most interesting aspects that I found here is I think this one. So Huffman told members of the House Financial Services on Thursday that Reddit did not detect any significant activity driven by bots or foreign actors on Wall Street Bet subreddit. Now, again, like we're a marketing channel, right? So like Inside Insight teaches people how to growth hack, uh, how to take advantage of marketing automation, uh, cold email outreaches, automated LinkedIn outreaches, etc. So uh, the question is, you know, why am I creating a video that's covering GameStop or GME? Well, it's pretty interesting because we've basically come in contact with Reddit upvote bots on numerous occasion. Like we might potentially do it for e-commerce products, uh, in some cases, info products, etc. So not only that, but I'm also aware of other instances in crypto prior to the whole thing of GameStop, prior to the whole thing of GME, where Reddit was instrumental in crypto pump and dumps. So this essentially means that Reddit and its subreddits, it's like sub communities, cause that's what Reddit cons like consists of essentially, was instrumental, was like an instrumental platform, community, etc., for coin pump and dumps. And it's not the first time. I mean, if you check this article right here, right? It's not like a like totally out of the box conspiracy at the end of the day. I believe Dogecoin cryptocurrency was involved in a sophisticated pump and dump scheme involving comment and upvote bots to promote the pump and various cryptocurrency exchanges being manipulated. Upvote bots to promote the pump. Now it makes perfect sense and it's not something that's discussed openly. And again, everything that I mentioned here isn't like 100% factual, it's opinion based and there is some speculation behind it. And that's the whole point of the video. It's not to point fingers or say that, you know, Reddit sucks or the CEO did this. I don't, personally, I don't really care. but. The point of this video is just to open your eyes to a certain possibility of what could have happened. Now, considering the fact that upvote bots were instrumental in pumping and dumping crypto schemes before, there is a possibility of Reddit upvote bots being used to not spark or initiate the whole GME slash uh, like Wall Street bet surge, but to essentially support it a little bit more than what it deserved in the first place. Because the way this, uh, the way upvote bots essentially work is people will go on Reddit. You go here, all these posts are currently in new. So you can imagine what it's like with Wall Street bets as well. If anybody posts anything, usually it goes in new, essentially. This post has zero upvotes. This post is promoted. This post has, they're fairly new, so you can't see the vote count yet. This post also has zero, etc. It's very easy to go onto a platform like sword.sh and just purchase 50 upvotes on something for $22. And we have videos where we showcase exactly how to basically do this. Of course, not for financial instruments, but primarily for, you know, like uh, ethical stuff like good e-commerce products, info products, etc. We'd never do it for financial instruments because those are like super, super murky waters. But essentially you'd post something nice you would post something right you'd, you'd like copyright it well you'd give it a kick-ass title some good copy you'd head over to soar you'd purchase 50 upvotes right and then essentially use it to support your claims support your ads support your marketing etc and again the, the only reason as to why i'm shedding like more light on this at the given moment is because it's just personally something that i've seen right in the crypto industry people have spoken about it on numerous occasions how they just pumped coins directly with upvote bots within a certain subreddit got in the value up and then dumped them right because attention with financial instruments is everything if nobody's paying attention to a certain financial instrument it's like it doesn't exist so the same thing happens with gamestop right if you could basically post it on r slash wall street bets get a couple of upvote bots and just have it rank on like trending or support its 
hype or it's surge, etc. It, it's basically it's it's a pretty uh, like it's a pretty functional way at the end of the day to get what you want. But again, like personally, I don't feel like the the whole thing was done like maliciously or from a pump and dump scheme or anything of that sort. It's just retail traders coming together and saying, you know, a big uh, f you to the institutional side of things. And I'm not too well versed on exactly what happened. Like if you're looking for more information with regards to that, there's no other channel that I can recommend myself other than Tom Nash's because he actually has a financial background and he's able to ex like explain everything down to the T and he knows what he's talking about. But from the marketing perspective, personally, I disagree with this, right? And especially based on the fact that right now, right, there's quote unquote allegations that the stock price is falling as bots invade Wall Street bets. Now, who's interested in having the stock price fall? It's institutional investors. So it could potentially mean that the institutional investors basically hired Reddit manipulators to potentially uh, downvote or like whatever, spread misinformation within the subreddit to cause the stock price to fall. And it's a pretty interesting article. So if you check it right here, we've started tracking the narrative structure of r slash wall street bets to basically understand what uh, what's being pushed over an eight hour period a day we tracked 30,000 posts of those 97 were removed by mods filters it's bots all the time once again you're being played politicians are about it on twitch redditors still hopeful that a massive will eventually cause stock price to skyrocket once more but there's no telling when right yeah i don't think that's very likely going to happen especially with the the different restrictions that are placed right now but it's pretty interesting and uh, again the whole point is is just to shed light on just how easy it is right you head over to something like soar purchase 50 upvotes and then have your thing being supported as opposed to you know it, it doesn't really require a lot of code and on the flip side as well like reddit's api is like wide open right so it's extremely easy to code out your own bots for instance with the api request right connected to an account that essentially remotely upvote stuff and you can basically build a bot farm in like less than a day or even two days with like 50 accounts just upvoting whatever so that's my two cents on the whole thing um basically of course i won't jump into the finance like the financial aspect of things a lot but just from the the reddit standpoint i felt like uh, it's definitely something that had to be shared catch you guys on the next one